Welcome to our FileHold video tutorial. The focus of this presentation is how the Print to FileHold virtual printer driver can be used to automate the process of adding documents from any application into the FileHold document repository. When a document is printed using the Print to FileHold driver, it is converted into a PDF document. Then, the destination folder and the metadata can be set through the FileHold Office client window and then added to the FileHold repository. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the FileHold virtual printer driver. In this example, I will be printing an invoice virtually from an accounting application. I'm also going to show how to use auto filing scripts and database lookups on the schema and how that integrates with print to file hold. I'm also going to use the print to file hold printing preferences to set a watermark and email the invoice to a customer after it has been converted into a PDF. Print to file hold works in conjunction with the file hold desktop application. You must be logged into the file hold desktop application in order to use the print to file hold printer driver. If you are not logged into the file hold desktop application, then print to file hold is not available for use. First, I'm going to set up the print to file hold preferences in the file hold desktop application. I'm going to make print to file hold my default printer. And I also want to maintain my printing preferences while I'm printing out my invoices. Now I'm going to demonstrate how to print an invoice into file hold. This video, I'm using the invoice module in my accounting software and the invoice has already been created. My invoice is open and now I want to print my invoice into the file hold repository. So I'm going to go ahead and click the print button. And you can see now, because print to file hold was set up as my default printer, it, it comes up here. But I also want to set up some printing preferences. There are a number of printing preferences that you can create inside of file hold. First of all, I'm going to set my paper size to letter. And I also want to add a watermark to my printed invoice. I have a couple of watermarks already set up here. I have my file hold logo, and I could also create text watermarks, uh, such as the one I have here that says overdue, or I can create another one that says please remit, and I can enable the ones that I want to use when I need them. Next, I want to email the invoice to the customer after it has been converted to a PDF. I will configure the email settings so that my Outlook client launches with the invoice automatically attached. There are a number of other printing preferences that can be configured and maintained. You can add some compression for your text or your graphics. You can set the fonts. You can also add overlays. Overlays are good if you have standard forms pre-prepared in PDF format that you wish to overlay text onto. Uh, you can also add some security where you can add a password. Uh, we also have some links so that any link that's recognized within the text, it'll automatically be converted into a hyperlink. In the PDF document, uh, we can add um, headers and footers, and some extra document info. Once I've completed configuring my printing preferences, I'm going to click OK or print, depending on what application this is coming from. And you can see that I'm presented with a couple of options here. The first one option is to add this document as a new document into the repository, or I can check it in as a new version. To check it in as a new version, you must first have the document checked out. This invoice is a new invoice, so I'm going to add it as a new document. And the file hold office client window opens. In the file hold office client window, you need to set the destination folder. So you need to tell file hold where this document is going to live in the library structure. And you also need to set the schema and the metadata fields for this invoice. Uh, you could do that manually. However, I have configured an auto filing script on my invoices uh, so I can automatically set the destination. And I have configured a database lookup on the schema so that my invoicing information can be brought in from my accounting system. So first of all, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set the proper schema. 
Now, my invoice number here, this is doing a database lookup. So my list of invoices are coming directly from my accounting database. Now, once I've filled out that one piece of information, I can click a lookup button. And the information for the remainder of my metadata fields is also brought into my fields. And that's because I'm doing a database lookup at the schema level, and I have mapped the remaining metadata fields to other columns in my table or view. Now that my schema and metadata are set, I can click the auto file button. And remember that auto filing sets the destination folder for me. So I don't have to do that as a manual step. Before I add my invoice to the file hold repository, I want to point out the default file name. By default, print to file hold gives the invoice a name that is set to according to today's current date and time. You can go ahead and change this document name in the blue bar. However, I have set up a custom naming pattern on my schema so that FileHold will take care of the renaming of the invoice for me. And I don't have to do that manually inside of print to file hold. So now that my information is all configured, I'm going to go ahead and click Add. And my document is going to be inside of FileHold. So if I go to my recently added folder, I can see here it is. And let's have a look at that PDF document. And we can see that the watermark has been added as part of the printing preferences in print to file hold. Also, now that the invoice has been added into file hold, the system can be configured so that a workflow is initiated in the event that this invoice needs to be reviewed or approved upon addition to the system. Now here's my email message. So it has been automatically created for me with the PDF attached. All I need to do is fill out the email details and send the invoice to the customer. You can see how adding any type of document from any application using print to file hold can be beneficial, reducing the amount of paper being used in your organization. Print to file hold makes sending your documents into a repository for easy storage and retrieval a breeze, especially when used in conjunction with database lookups and auto filing scripts. Thank you for watching our video tour. For more detailed information on a print to file hold feature, please contact sales at filehold.com or visit our website at www.filehold.com.